Okay, so I have a clip for y'all. It's Math Alpha, and he decided to expose his co-host. Champ has decided to leave his podcast. So make sure to watch this clip. So, but everybody else, that wasn't the relationship. To try to make it seem like that, and try to make it seem like it's bigger than uh, oh we did this, we was doing that, we doing it, 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 but it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't nobody besides misfit and maybe knowledge and gat. Nobody else in that shop. Uh, Heineken in a way, in a way, but not like no friendship. But like that I known for like over a decade. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. So like you kind of meet people's representatives and after a while the representative layer gets peeled back and you get to see who people really are and then you got to decide whether you still want to work with them or not or if people got toxic habits if they doing that it's going to make you uncomfortable to be to be honest like a lot of the the co-hosts going through what I went through with the co-hosts and it it were times it made me feel like I didn't want to do the show no more Cause it was like, like I, I couldn't understand why I kept running into certain that just wanted to, you know, jump on the ship, peel up boards, build their own boat and try to like sail off in the sunset while they trying to sink your ship at the same time. I couldn't understand why that shit was going on. Like I try to keep it a hundred with them. Like I'm not, I don't got to say no names, but there's people I paid when they had to take care of family. There's people I paid when they didn't handle clothes and I took them shopping and just to keep, you know what I mean? To, to keep their, 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 self, their sense of, of, of pride up. You know what I mean? It's people I looked out for and had nothing to do with business. Like you, you keep getting your car towed and all that. People I kept looking out for and then they turn around and do foul. And I'll be like, you know, it would hit me personally, but I had to keep reminding myself, this is not a personal situation. It's not a personal situation. You know what I'm saying? These, you know, are just coming around. The shit been moving. Like, regardless of all the shit that these motherfuckers want to say, the show been moving before you got there. The only people that can make claims on, oh, I helped the, 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 it get started is Misfit and Knowledge. Misfit and Knowledge. They the only co-host that can say that. Everybody else, you jumped on board when the shit was already popping. Like, don't make it seem like, yo, oh, we we took it to this level and da da da. You know, no. It was, at the end of the day, it was still my decision to put these people on the platform. It was still my decision to say, hmm, I think that he would be a good fit because of this. I think that he would be a good fit because of this. None of you came and auditioned and, and, and blew it out the water or nothing like that. That was me believing in y'all. That was me believing in y'all. At the end of the day, that was me believing in these. You know what I'm saying? So like, motherfuckers turn around, start doing shady and start acting like, oh, I deserve this, or I deserve that, I deserve this, I deserve that. Like, nobody wouldn't f know you if it wasn't for me. So stop. Stop. It ain't, it ain't beef. It's not beef. It's like, I just, I've never, ever, if you knew me in battle rap, that you know, like, I've never appreciated anybody lying on me. Don't lie on me. I don't know what it is with me and the truth. I, I got this thing with the truth. You know what I'm saying? Any chick that I date, like, I got this thing with the truth where I'm going to let you know what the it is. If I just came from a crib and I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, I just got this thing where I don't, I don't need to keep nobody in the dark. You're going to make your own decision. If, if I tell you the truth, then you got the option of saying, do I still want to rock with this or not? You know what I'm saying? And that's how I live my life. So when they get out there and they start lying on me and start saying I was this and I was that and I was this and I was that, negating the whole fact that either you got fired or I was a with you no more and you you coming up with a new story and trying to make it seem like I was foul and shady. I hate that. I hate that it oppresses me because it's like, yo, I know what I did for these these people. It's disgusting. I don't know, man, you know. 
I, I I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in and love the show, but I don't know. It's just, you know, I got co co host that's going through. You know, it, it's just a different vibe for me right now. So I'd rather just get in the studio and just just express myself. I might I'll probably start live streaming for my crib. Stay tuned for that. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's going to be a read between the lines situation, but, you know, I'm going to start live streaming from the crib. Yo, Trace, if you in the chat, pull up. Okay, so that was Matt Hoffa, and he decided to vent because Champ decided to leave his podcast, and he's not the first one who have decided to leave his podcast. And what y'all need to realize is Matt Hoffa, he's the one who created the podcast and he's the brand name of the podcast. And all the other people are co-hosts. The reason why they're that is because they're second fiddle to Math Alpha. But the reason why they keep leaving is because they want the same amount of money as Math Alpha. And that's wrong because it's his podcast. And he's even saying that he's paying them good. But they want more because that's what greed is. So make sure to leave a comment, like this video. And watch next videos. I got for y'all.